today we'll have a look at a pen that was just launched by Pelican. Comes in a big box. Interesting because uh, this is not a giant pen. However, it's interesting and it was sent to me by La Couronne du Comte. Interesting pen. What pen are we talking about? We're talking about the new fancy Pelican M120. Why is it fascinating? It's fascinating because Pelican went for a retro look here. They they have pretty much recreated the original M120, which was launched in 1955. Now it's 2016, so a number of years have passed, and they have remade this pen, recreated it, not with exactly the same materials, but in some ways it's very similar. So interesting bit of history to that. I'm going to cover the past, the pen tone, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, do a writing sample, but first let's have a better look at the box, because it's actually a pretty fancy box, especially given the price of the pen. Given that it's not an, an, an ultra, super, mega expensive uh, pen, I think it's, it's a nice box. So, a fairly boring white outer box, but in there is a box that actually looks pretty cool. You have some nice uh, um, calligraphy on there. It says Pelikan, Günther Wagner, Hannover und Wien. So, interesting. Uh, still in Hannover, uh, Pelican as a company box opens, has a little uh, string uh, right there to keep the box open, and you have a bottle of ink. Not a green ink, but just a Pelican Königsblau, so the royal blue, 30 milliliters of ink. Little thing that was on the nib, uh, and of course the, the pen just slips in there. All right. Let's cover this pen. Smaller pen, but in that day and age, a lot of pens were on the small side. It's it's made of a, a resin, and it has some neat, nice features. Right there, top the cap, finial is nothing. Uh, you have the, the the pelican bill, so the stylized pelican bill clip. Uh, you have a little band there that says Pelican in Germany, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. Then you have the green. I think a lot of people really associate that that green with with pelican. Piston turning knob. Cap unscrews, you see the ink window, neat feature, uh, you have the section, and then you have the nib. The nib, in this case an extra fine, is uh, stainless steel, but it has uh, uh, gold plating. Interesting bit of trivia about the nib, you can see there is a quite a bit of scroll work on there, and if you can't see it here, it will be there will be a close-up on my website. Uh, a picture taken by Gourmet Pens, who is much better at those things than I am. Uh, but you can, you may be able to see there's a bit of scroll work on there. That scroll work is actually from a price list Pelican found, and the price list is from 18, nine, uh, 1889. Okay, so that's how where they found the little scrolls. Okay, what interesting about the pen? Well, as I said, it's a recreation of an older model, uh, the, the 120. Um, here I have, that's not a 120, this is just uh, another recent pen, an M200, uh, that's a tradition with with green marble uh, material. You can see it's it's about that size. Um, by the way, I wasn't entirely true. Uh, I, 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 I think uh, I said there was nothing on top of the finial, but of course there was a little pelican on there. I think my camera wasn't really picking that up. It's there, it's in relief, and it's not actually filled with gold or anything, it's just black. Sorry, I was showing you this side by side, so you have that M200. Uh, as I said, it's not the, the biggest model, this would be an M1005, so the, just the, the chrome trim version of the and demonstrator of the M1000, and here you have that M200. So it's definitely smaller, and you definitely see that in the, uh, uh, the nib size, but it's a smaller pen, and there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. So, smaller, but it, I can use it unposted, um, that's that's something I like about it. You can use it posted, becomes a bit longer, but I don't think this is absurdly long. It still fits in my hand, well of course if you have smaller hands it would look a lot bigger, um, but I, I think this, this looks okay. Okay, I like that. I like the, the uh, um, gilded nib, the, the uh, gold plated nib, and the nib writes well. It, it's a pleasant nib, uh, it's a lot of fun to use, it has some spring to it, so it's, it's, it's fun. I love the ink window, very clear, makes it very clear how much ink is left. I, I like that because otherwise the piston filler you have no idea how much ink you have. So I like all of that. 
uh, I like that they went for a vintage look and it does look vintage e it doesn't have the green striations it i i mean it it is not a perfect copy uh, but it it definitely looks vintagey in the size the shape of things uh, i like that finally i don't think this pen is too terribly priced it retails here for 189 euros if you like that you can always uh, uh, use uh, the code that's on my website, you get a discount uh, when you would order it from La Couronne du Comte. Alright, 10% discount. So that's not too bad. 189 euros for a piston filled pen. I know it's not a solid gold nib, but it is a bit of a homage to an older pen. You get a nice box, you get a bottle of ink with it. I don't think that's a terrible deal. Um, of course, it's a smaller pen, but some people like that. Things I don't like so much. Well, there are a few things. Uh, I, I as, you, as I said, I kind of miss that, that finial. Uh, it is there in relief. I, I would like to have seen that filled with gold, uh, something that, like, like they did on the M200, just because I think it looks a bit cooler, but you know, if you're trying to recreate an older model, you wouldn't necessarily do that. I like the ink window. Um, it's a very sharp line, though, uh, between the barrel and the, uh, the ink window. It's, it's, I don't know how else you could do that, but it's it's a very big contrast, not a, a big deal. Uh, bigger deals, I would say, are these threads. They are definitely on the sharp side, uh, and I, I don't care for that that much, um, especially because it is a smaller section, so if you have bigger fingers, that you are undoubtedly going to feel those threads somewhere. I feel them at the, the bottom of my index finger, I feel them at my middle finger curled under the section, so I am feeling that. Uh, finally, also very sharp lines with the piston turning knob. That that's that that's. I mean, it's it's physically sharp, but also visually, it's a bit. I don't know. I I don't really want to use the word crude, but I mean, it's 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 it, it's sharp. It's definitely there. So in all, what do you get? Smaller pen, very pocketable in the uh, chest pocket. Um, very nice nib, writes well. Piston filler holds a nice amount of ink. So there is a lot going for it. Uh, for some people, they would probably prefer a slightly bigger model, but then you also start to pay quite a bit. So, in a way, it's a neat size. I like that. And if you're looking for something else, uh, you can always go for something like that M200. That's also vintage uh, in, in the way it looks, um, and has the more traditional Pelican, the, the, the rounded off, or actually I should say that the flattened uh, things that the, the looks at the Southern series has. Okay, that's all there's to it. Thanks again to Lacan like Nicole for sending me this pen. I appreciate it. Uh, if you are interested in pictures or dimensions of the pen, go to my website, sbrebrown.com. What we'll do next is a writing sample. Hope this was useful so far, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with the Pelican. M120, the nib is an extra fine, and the ink is a, that's a Pelican ink. Jade is whispered in the background by my charming assistant and very knowledgeable ink person. Okay, it's an extra fine nib. Extra fine nib means you'll get some feedback, but it's actually fairly nice. And I, I wouldn't really call it scratchy. It's a uh, nice It's a nice writer writer and it's it's very consistent ink flow. Wetness it isn't extra fine. But it is on the dry side. Line variation, well, as you can see, you can squeeze out some. So that is possible. Reverse writing, well, an extra fine that would be a bit pointless. And as you can see, it runs dry very quickly. So that won't really happen. Okay, a kind thank you to La Couronne de Comte for sending this over. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful. And I'll gladly see you later.